Uh, you know, I, I think it, I think it's, uh, it, it's special in the fact that, you know, we didn't have our A game tonight. And uh, I, I said to our staff uh, yesterday and today, I was really worried about a letdown tonight. I was really worried about um, how tired we were. You know, that Green Bay game was a physical war. And we just, you know, we were uh, lithless yesterday. And, and our, our hearts were good. Our emotions were good. We were just banged up and tired. And I thought that uh, uh, when you can win games where you don't have your A game, I think that, that's, that's a sign that your team's maturing. Uh, I thought we did a great job defensively in the second half. Now, obviously, we turned the ball over a little too much under that last four-minute timeout, but uh, Vitas hit a big shot for us. Jerry, what adjustments did you make in the second half? You held them to 27. They scored 41 in the first half. We did. We worked on a couple of things on our zone offense. They put, they threw a little bit of a wrinkle in their zone offense, and I, uh, we made a little bit of an adjustment at the half with our slides on our, on five defense. It's a, it, they're, you know, they're a tough guard because they got the big kid inside. Uh, it's hard, you know, to get around that dude. And uh, and they have and they play off of him so well uh, in terms of the perimeter shots and I thought we did a really good job in the second half of the rotations. I thought I thought Ash and Ward. I don't know how many rebounds he ended up having tonight, but uh, uh, he only had four. But his last two defensive rebounds for us were huge. The final play is it the way you drew it up? I'd be lying if I said it. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know we we wanted to get you know something for Vitas up top and let him drive it. We said to him, you know, basically go as far as you can go. And, and we said in the timeout, you know, Vitas is the game winner. Okay, go knock it down. And everybody kind of laughed, and he, and he did it. He had a big time shot for us. Coach, we talked about the standings. I mean, this lumps things together even more. You continue to just I don't even look at that, Jack. No? No, I, I really don't. Somebody tried to tell me that today, and I went just like this. They said, Coach, you know, if you win tonight, and it's, you know, it's Schmidt. You know, he's the, he's the king of that Monday stuff. And, uh, and he said, Coach, you know. And I go, Rob, I don't want to know. I said, you know, we got enough on our plate right now with focusing on our next practice day and where we're going. If we practice hard and play hard, then we'll take care of itself. Jerry, you took care of home court for the first time in a long time. Yeah, that's it. I mean, and again, I, you know, where, where this group has come from to where it is now, um, you know, it started on the road. And, and well, not really. It actually started at Cleveland State. You know, we played we played two good games really against uh, Wright State and, and had a heartbreak against Detroit. And then we went on the road and, and, and kind of found ourselves. And uh, uh, we're playing like a team. You know, everybody's contributing, and, and, and the spirit's good. The attitude has been great all year. And the play of Celestia today. So you know, Celestia's solid and. and uh, uh, you know, he came out tonight and knocked down shots, and they, they gave us that little matchup zone uh, stuff, you know, early, and uh, he did a really good job. Um, and again, you know, those Thursday Saturdays in this league are tough, and, and I think it showed on us. I think we were a little tired there at the end in that, under that last four minutes. I thought Vance Cooksey did a great job tonight, too. We were kind of struggling. He came in and really gave us a lift. Thank you, Drew. Uh, coach actually drew it up that I'm supposed to go to the left side, but when I saw that, uh, what's the name? Some dude knocked down to Lester, and then it was congestion on the left side, and there was a bunch of dudes laying on the ground on the right side, so I just took it to the right and pulled up and made it. What's going through your mind? Is that you want to take that shot? What's going through your mind as you watch that thing go in? Oh, I, when, I, when I released, I was like, oh, man, it's not going in. And then it rolled in, I got real happy. Yes, what's this? Victory mean. I mean, not so much this victory, but four in a row, first time, and first time since you guys have joined the Horizon League, you weren't around here that they went four in a row. Well, this, especially this one, means a lot to our program because we didn't play our best game. We didn't come out shooting hot like we did against UIC and uh, the other, the Green Bay game because we came out first half, we put 20 on them, and then we just hang there. This one, we didn't come out hot. They came out actually hot. We hang there, and we came out with the victory. What what has turned this around? Is there something, can you pinpoint something that has turned? Well, I think we just got tougher, man. After uh, after winter break, we just decided that this season is not going the way we want to go in the, in the beginning of the year. Because we thought we were a pretty good team, but we just got tougher and we started defending people more. You want to continue to wear red? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you guys talk about 
standings? Do you talk about kind of, hey, we got to win these games. These are important. We want to have a home tournament. Do you talk about that stuff? Or yes, do sir. We do. We, we want to keep pro, like keep uh, our sixth seed or even go to fifth seed so we can have a home game because it's a really big deal when you play home in the way.